Today is Friday, April 28th, and Monday will mark one solid month, no soda. Feeling great, sleeping better, and the cravings are completely gone. It's amazing what can happen in one month. If that can happen in one month, imagine what can happen in six. But I don't really wanna talk about any of that for this video. This video is all about relaxation and having fun. Relaxation, for me, I love being outdoors. As a matter of fact, in about an hour, my buddy Brian's gonna be by to pick me up and we're meeting up with our scout troop and taking them camping in North Georgia. Can't think of a better way to relax than getting outdoors, cooking some meals on an open fire, and sleeping in a tent. You guys gonna miss me tonight? Much, yes. Autumn, you gonna miss me tonight? Got the backpack, pillow, sleeping bag and tent around the garage. Got the food already, gonna be doing some red beans and rice for dinner, for breakfast. Gonna do some oatmeal and sliced peaches. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> You're not ready for what? <laughs> to be on camera. <laughs> oh, you didn't go to makeup before? <laughs> no, I didn't go to makeup and hair. I. So after after <laughs> after I yes. after I get back from camping, what is what is the plan? What are we gonna do for tomorrow? Um, tomorrow afternoon. Um, I would like to, if it's the weather's nice, I'd like to go uh, do some volleyball. Ooh, volleyball. <laughs> did, did you really just try to volleyball a diaper? I just volleyballed a diaper. diaper. I sure did. <laughs> Hashtag mom life. <laughs> yes! He's here. This. Brian, this is all Mrs. Castleberry's stuff to go camping? Mrs. Yeah, meaning I'm, I'm making fun of myself for bringing... Here's my friend Brian. <laughs> Brian just informed me that this is my side, right? <laughs> and that's your side over there? Is that right? Yep. Okay. Well, this side in the middle. Here. All right. <clears throat> Hit it. are getting the fire going for cooking dinner and for a fun night. Wait, right, Johnny. Hey, let me ask you something. Yes, sir. How did, how did the burgers turn out? Boys turn out. You know what? It was a valiant effort, but I'm just going to tell you this. You would never get me to eat that burger. Ever. Well, could you tell the difference between the burger and the charcoal? No, it actually, I reached down and I did grab a charcoal briquette in place of the burger. Didn't realize it, but now we know. Yep. <laughs> We're gonna make half. Oh, okay, you're hiding it. Yeah. Looks good. Looks good. Ooh. Good camp What's chef right here. What's in there? All right, Murph. What do you want? Explain to us what we got in the Dutch oven. Okay, we've made a breakfast pizza. So we took uh, croissant dough. No, no, dinner roll dough. Put it on the bottom. A layer of hash browns, and we also put bro broken up sausage. 
took more cheese, I mean more cheese than you can imagine, and then eggs all the way around it. Dumped them in, mixed the eggs up, dumped them in, and we've got a breakfast pizza. Now it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty good, I think. First time we've ever done it though. Good morning. It is the next morning after the camp out Saturday, the 29th. It's about 7:30 in the morning. All the scouts are up and they're actually cooking breakfast for each other. So that's pretty cool that they're helping each other out. And but it is absolutely beautiful out here. Slept good last night. Boys didn't act up too much, so we all got some pretty good sleep, unlike the last camp out where we all got about an hour's worth of sleep. So big improvement on this one. We got some activities planned for the boys later, but the whole purpose for this camp out was for them to cook dinner, breakfast, and lunch. It was a cooking merit badge camp out. So they're doing a good job, proud of them. They're coming together, working together, getting things done. They're doing great. Well, so much for a fun and relaxing weekend. It turned into be a not so fun and relaxing weekend, right? Right. I would agree with that statement. So why was it a not so fun and relaxing weekend? What happened? Kids were really cranky and it turns out that Hudson was really, really sick and I had no idea. I clued in finally after hours of screaming um, that he was like wheezing and struggling to breathe and I um, my mother instinct kicked in. I was like, this is serious. I had to, I ended up calling, I ended up calling night. Well, I called my mom and then I was like, what should I do? I just, like, he's really struggling. He was using all of his muscles. He was thrashing around. He was coughing and he was having a hard time. And so I, uh, called my mom. What should I do? I was like, I feel like I should take him into the ER. Um, and then but I didn't know. So I called 911 and I had the fire truck people come and they checked his vitals and they are the ones that encouraged me to take him to ER that I shouldn't wait till the morning um, and that he was okay but I definitely needed to take him in. So I took him into the ER um, and gave they gave him some breathing meds and that, that helped him get over and he was able to breathe a little bit better um, and I ended up just sleeping, well not sleeping. So basically you then stayed up with him pretty much all night. Yep, I stayed up with him all night. I maybe got an hour of sleep, maybe an hour of sleep because I was just holding him while he slept and then I just fell asleep in the chair. And it was a pretty rough night because I was really, I mean that really scared me to have him wheezing like he was. And it didn't help that I was on a camp out with no, right. with and I was no all by cell myself. signal. Yeah, and my mom stayed the night. Uh, so she stayed the night and I just sat next to a diffuser. I had oils diffusing and I think that helped a lot. Um, and I didn't have to, yeah, I mean, and I didn't have any more scares of him wheezing. Like he did pretty good after that. But I was ready for you to come home. Uh, so we were trying to get you because you had no signal. So I had to... Ow wait for you to come home. And then not only that, but turns out that Cooper and Autumn were also sick this weekend, so. Yeah, mostly Cooper today. I would say Cooper was really sick today. Yeah, Autumn's been kind of, she's been okay. She's just had a little cough and just been kind of cranky and not sleeping very well. But basically, in a nutshell, this weekend went from fun and relaxing to no sleep. <laughs> How many naps did we take today? Um, I, I took one, you took one. We've been sleeping just on and off because have, I haven't been sleeping at night. No, haven't been sleeping at night. Been sleeping on and off throughout today. Kids are downstairs watching cartoons for, I don't know, like the 12th time this weekend. <laughs> They've been watching a lot of cartoons and movies just so they can slow down, relax, and recover. Yeah, I think that was one thing that we really need to do. We've been going, 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 and the kids have been taking a toll. It's been taking a toll on the kids and they've been getting sick. And so they have a, a bronchiolitis or RSV. It's a pretty, uh, it's a virus. So. We had to pump the brakes. Pump the brakes. Stay at home. We've literally yeah. been inside since noon yesterday. So noon Saturday. Are you, I've been at home before that. True. 
So basically we've been indoors all weekend after I got home from the camp out, just recovering and yeah. We're <laughs> so uh, low energy, I guess. Yeah, very low energy because we're, we haven't had much sleep. I know, buddy. And that's why. <laughs> What else? Um, I'd like to give a shout out to Brian and Shelby for bringing us dinner. Yes, Brian and Shelby. So, as you know, I rode up with Brian to the camp out. So the next morning when I got the news that Tana had to take Hudson to the ER, Brian is an amazing friend. He packed up everything really quickly, drove me home, dropped me off. I got home about 9.30 in the morning. And as soon as I got home, he's like, well, we're gonna bring you dinner. So. Brian, my friend Brian, his wife Shelby, made us an amazing dinner, which actually we ate for lunch and dinner the next day as well. So we had three meals out of that. So you guys are awesome. Thank you. It's so great to have wonderful friends like you. Uh, I would say I'm going to be taking it easy this week and get them completely recovered because he still has congestion and his, I mean, this is a viral infection. So. But he's doing way better. He's doing way better, but he definitely still has to take it easy this week. Yeah. Doing way better. But. Uh, I think that's it. So... Peace!